Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Zach Miller before the 2015 North Face Endurance Challenge Championships. How are you, Zach? I'm good. How are you, Brian? Doing all right. You just uh, landed here in California. Yeah, just about noon today we got in, so fresh off the plane. Uh, you're living up at uh, Bar Camp, uh, <laughs> 10,200 feet these days. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a little high up there, but yeah, I live in a little little cabin off the grid on yeah. the mountain, ha halfway up. Uh, and yeah, it's been great living the dream. What's uh, what's training like there? Do you do you? You're a guy who seems to run pretty intensely all the time. Uh -huh. you, can you do that and recover up at that high? Uh, yeah, I think it's been going pretty well. I mean, we'll find out on Saturday, I guess. But uh, no, since moving up there, um, I haven't seen any huge red flags in terms of not recovering properly. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that some days, some days I go up and do do workouts above tree line, and I'll notice maybe the next day or two. You know, I feel like I'm a little, little, little tapped. Um, uh, maybe a little more so than normal. Um, but no, it's been going well. Um, it's obviously harder to run fast up there, mm -hmm. um, but definitely good, good training grounds, especially for mountainous races. Yeah. Speaking of faster, um, through the middle part of this year, you were uh, running speedier races. U.S. Mountain Running Championships. You're yeah. at Mount Washington, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah Mount Washington. Um, I always like to mix it up. Um, I kind of like to structure my season with like a like a spring ultra, a summer ultra, and a fall ultra. Mm -hmm. And then in between that, I just like to run shorter, faster stuff, because I'm not going to run an ultra every month. Um, but I like to stay sharp, and, and the short stuff is fun. Yeah. Like, mountain championships, I mean, it wrecked me this year. Like, I, I, I finished that race, and uh, that next week I was sore. I felt like I'd run an ultra. Um, but uh, no, they're a lot of fun, and it, it keeps you sharp. Um, and it kind of gives you confidence when you go into ultras and know that the climbing pace in an ultra isn't exactly the same as the climbing pace in, say, Mount Washington yeah. or something short. Um, the last ultra you did, if I remember correctly, is the CCC over in uh, in France and Switzerland. And you ran incredibly. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a good day. Um, I, I had a blast over there. I loved that course and the fans. And, um, I just I, I had a good day uh, you know I, I you know I had highs and lows but um, the the high came on at the right time at the end and yeah uh, was able to seal the deal so a little was, suffering in the, in the middle, middle yeah. when it got hot when it got hot I'm uh, I love cool weather running uh, I mean up at bar camp lately I've been doing more freeze my butt off running <laughs> I bet uh, just yesterday me and my buddies were out we were we were so stinking cold <laughs> up above tree line but uh, um, but yeah I love like like kind of these temperatures right here um, and uh, CCC got hot in the middle and mm -hmm. that was where I had my low patch when the sun started to go down that's where I turned, was able to turn it on turn it back on yeah because you went out hard as yeah yeah typical I, I, I went out I went out at the front I mean I tried to listen to myself I I I kind of told myself not to really race or do anything crazy until Champagne Lock, mm -hmm. um, but I still ended up out front, and I guess I just kind of try to stay within myself and, um, and and then hang on through the hard time and then hammer home when I was feeling better. Yeah. Uh, last year you went out pretty hard here at the North Face 50, mm -hmm. and then uh, flagged to 11th. Yeah. What happened last yeah. year? Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't have been here last year. Is what happened. Uh, yeah. I had I had run. Um, world Championship 100K on the road. Well, it was road, but it was more like tile. Uh, two weeks before, mm -hmm. and that that race wrecked me probably more than any other ultra that I've run. Just that repetitive motion on that hard surface and that fast pace was was just brutal on the body. Um, and not just that. I think three weeks before I had raced Templier in France. So in the span of a couple of months, I raced three big ultras. And, and when you're big results you've had it seems like you've been running ultras for a pretty long time but that's a reasonable portion of your total ultra mileage. yeah that, that was uh before that I think I'd only run two ultras yeah, and then so. I ran like three in like two months so uh, North Face last year I I just, I just couldn't resist coming out I was already registered and uh 
you know, I, I just was going to give it a go. And mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, last year I was out there and like four miles in, I knew I could tell it wasn't there. And I was like, well, maybe I can hang on and it's just going to hurt a heck of a lot the whole way. Um, but it hurt a heck of a lot pretty much the whole way. Yeah. But I wasn't able to hang on. I, I, I sage put stage went up a climb and I just couldn't really stay with them and it just kind of went from there do you uh, is it safe to say you feel a little more confident a little fresher coming into this year's race uh yeah I'd say so um I mean well, well, Saturday is still you know the great unknown we, we don't know what's gonna happen but but no I definitely targeted it a bit more this year tried to set up a smarter racing schedule um, I raced about a month ago in Brazil um over 30k uh, about 30k kind of a, a tune-up um you know i mean definitely racing but you know in terms of distance and things good, mm -hmm. good tune-up race hopefully um and so yeah i've tried not to overdo it going in and um yeah i'm interested to see how that pans out now in the past you've relied on a lot of bananas to fuel <laughs> your race yeah uh, has that evolved at all in uh, over time? Well, sort of. When I went to Brazil, I found out they have these things called banana dot. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But all it really is is like bananas and sometimes sugar, sometimes another fruit like pineapple mixed in. But it's basically just bananas. But it's in this little like brownie square. And it's so easy to carry with you. It's like halfway between a chew and a gel. Yeah. And so like in that 30K that I ran, I, well, I only ate one. <laughs> it was like a three-hour race, but I only ate like 100 calories and some Gatorade. Um, so, but but it worked. Uh, so I have some of those with me. I don't know if I was supposed to bring those back from Brazil, but <laughs> they got through. I they think they're through. allowed. I think they're allowed. Um, so I don't know. I have those with me, but I, I don't. It, they're just kind of in the in the bag of options for yeah. fueling for the day. Um, I'm definitely. There's a good chance I'll be throwing down some bananas at the crew of blade stations. Yeah. Um, and you'll take some goos in between that or some, yeah, some gels. Yeah, I'll probably have like some goo products or, or some or something like that. Yeah. I, I kind of like solid food, so okay. I might be going with something more solid um, and maybe like a high calorie electrolyte drink because um, it's easy to drink calories. Yeah. Um, so yeah but i'll have uh my buddies are out from pennsylvania and they're gonna crew me so i'm pumped about that does that feel um, good to... yeah it's just good to have like just good to have my buddies with me and have the have an actual crew um you know it, it just makes you a little more confident going in now that you seem to get you know wound up for races but does it, does it, is it still calming to have the guys you've known for a long time yeah well they, yeah these are actually guys i've gotten to know more since I started ultra running. Really? Um, yeah, it's funny. I I, uh, I kind of, you know, I had kind of like the kids I ran with in high school and, and stuff. And then after I started ultra running, I kind of met this whole new running community in Pennsylvania. There's like, uh, it, it, it's an interesting mix of like, it's a bunch of like, uh, there, there's, a, there's a whole slew of like Amish runners in, in Lancaster County who love to go out and just run and explore. Um, and, but it's a mix of like, um, you know, it's a mix of uh, plain folk and, and, and non-plain folk. Yeah. E English, I guess, is what we call ourselves. <laughs> uh, and, and it's just a fun group I've gotten to know over the years, and uh, or just the past couple of years. And so, yeah, it's really special to have them out here to help support me um, and hang out and keep me from getting too ner too nervous. Uh, and then and then my parents are actually coming out. It's the first time they're going to get to see me run an ultra. Um, so I'm looking forward to having them there to, to support Good, I don't well. have to apologize to your mom for, for cursing on Twitter. <laughs> okay, I, I, I think she'll forgive you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Zach. And, uh, right. Good luck out on Saturday. Thank you.